Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University, and I want to go through how to memorize transactions in this video. Specifically, I'm going to go through how to memorize a bill and how to memorize a draft. So like an auto draft out of your checking account. Okay. So once you do this and set this up, it's going to save you a bunch of time. Uh, you know, whether it's weekly, monthly, quarterly, it doesn't matter. Whatever the time frame is, it's going to save you time in entering these transactions. Okay. So first of all, you want to use memorize transactions when you have, um, recurring transactions that happen on a periodic basis. So let's say you have a monthly bill that is the same amount every single month. All right. You can memorize that transaction. So it enters that bill for you every month. Same thing with a draft. Memorize it. It's the same amount every single month or two weeks or whatever it is, and it will automatically enter it for you. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. First of all, uh, let me show you on a bill. Uh, if we go to vendor and enter bills, and I'm going to pick uh, anyone here. Let's say that it's Cal Oil Company and it's, uh, let's say, $25. All right. And let's say the bill is due on the 30th and the date is the 15th. If we pick, uh, I'm going to pick any account here. Let's just say that this is um, insurance. All right. So you'll see a button up here that says Memorize. And it says, if you create the same transaction on a regular basis, use Memorize to save it as a template for future use. Okay, so you want to click this, and it's going to bring up this box. So the first thing is you're going to name it. It's going to default to the vendor name. Okay, if you want to name it something else, by all means, you can. And you've got three options here. First, add to my reminders list. This means that it's just going to remind you that it needs to be entered. Okay, it's not going to automatically do it. The second one is do not remind me. Okay. And this just means that it's going to put it on your memorized transaction list, but it's not going to remind you that it needs to be entered and it's not going to automatically enter it. All right. And the final option, which we're looking at here is automate transaction entry. Okay. So when you choose automate transaction entry, you've got some options over here. Okay. So first off, how often? Okay, we're going to choose this drop down and let's say that this is a monthly bill. All right, so we're going to choose monthly. The next date, since we've got the bill here already at December 15th, let's say that the next one is going to be January 15th since this is a monthly bill. Now the number remaining, uh, if this is, you know, let's say a financing transaction or a loan and you've gotten a certain number of remaining, uh, could be an insurance, monthly insurance bill that you've got 12 left. Okay, so you're going to put in the number remaining here. Now, if this is just a into the future until you cancel kind of deal, you know, I typically put in like 99 or something like that. Okay. So you just put in the number remaining that you need for your situation. Days in advance to enter. When it's a bill, I like to put in a few days before, okay? Uh, just to have it in there so I can see it on my, my bill payment list and, you know, it's not some big surprise when it comes in, okay? So that's just a personal preference. All right, so you click OK and you're going to hear a, a camera like it's taking a snapshot. All right. So there you have it. Now you've memorized this bill and it will automatically enter on the 15th of every month. All right. So let me hit save and close. All right. So now the next uh, item is an automatic draft. Okay. So you're not going to enter a bill for an automatic draft. This is an amount that just comes out of your checking account every single month. All right. So if we click check register, we go over to checking. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and enter. Uh, let's say that this was... EFT and same kind of thing as a bill. You're going to, you know, choose uh, the vendor. Let's put in the amount. Let's say it's $50 and we're going to put in uh, just pick something here. Finance charge. All right. So when you have this up in your check register, you can right click and you can say memorize check. All right. So again, it's going to bring up the same screen. You've got these options. Let's say we want to automate the transaction entry. How often? Let's say that it's uh, weekly. All right. So the next date is going to be the 22nd if this is on a, a Friday. Okay. Number remaining. Let's say that there's only 12 remaining. 
and days in advance to enter. Now drafts like this, I'll just leave at zero. If it's a big amount, then I will do it in advance uh, just because, you know, I want to make sure it doesn't impact my cash if I have some other things coming up. But if it's a small amount relative to my business, my checking account, I'll just put zero. Okay. Click OK. All right. You hear the camera sound. We hit record. All right. So at any time, if you need to go and look at your memorized transactions, you can go to the list drop down menu here, go to memorize transaction list. All right. Just thinking there. All right. So you're going to see, let's see, it did not go to that memorized transaction list. Here we go. So you're going to see here are the ones that we just did. We did the Cal Oil Company, $25, City of Middlefield, 50. You can see that it automates the next date, weekly, monthly, et cetera. If you can right click any of these, if you need to delete it, you can delete it. If you need to edit the transaction, it's going to bring up the same screen and you can make adjustments as needed. All right. So that's it. All right. If you have any questions whatsoever, let me know. And, uh, you know, also head over to the QuickBooks University. We've got uh, a great uh, training program over there, a ton of members, uh, private groups when you become a member where I answer your personal QuickBooks questions. Love to ha have you join us over there. It's qbuniversity.org.